Hey guys, I'm Liam Hartley. This is Steph Collin. We're the co-founders of Systematic Sports. Before we get into it, we want to encourage responsible gambling. Never gamble more than you can afford to lose. Sports gambling is very high in risk and you can expect to lose your entire bankroll. <laughs> Systematic Sports all started with me trying to beat my friends, like a Steph, at Fantasy Premier League. He's pretty good at it, so I needed to get my own edge, so I started writing some code so that I could work out the outcomes of football games. I realized that these numbers could be used to generate odds, and then comparing those odds to the bookmakers, I could identify value bets. From there, we kind of expanded out. You came on after about a year. Yeah, at the time, it was sort of a local script running on our machines, and since then, we sort of grown to a fully cloud-hosted product with a data lake, hosting all of our data with multiple strategies running on top, a product that we offer to our users. We provide a Telegram channel with all of our users. Our algorithm sends in the bets every day at 10 a.m. For each, for each game day. We cover the five major European leagues. Let's have a look at the League One report today. We're currently running two strategies, our flagship value betting strategy and our newer machine learning betting strategy. Our value betting strategy is the one we've been working on for three years. It has our best performance. And today we can see that the value strategy and the machine learning strategy agree with each other and they're both recommending the home win for this League One game. I can also click into this game and I can see some more statistics and metrics on this game. I can see all the value bets that were found and what that means is we calculated probabilities for each of these outcomes and found value in each of these outcomes relative to the bookie odds provided. However, our strategies will only pick a subset of these bets based on certain parameters being fulfilled. We also have statistics on team form uh, we have statistics on the, each team's attacking and defending metrics, um, as well as the expected goals over the last few games for the top players within their expected lineup. And finally, recent team fixtures and head-to-head -head for the two teams. We're completely transparent with our performance, and you can come onto our website here. We go to the betting tips. You see our betting strategies that we've been talking about, as well as free betting tips that you can come to every time there's a match day if you want to get a free betting tip from our models. If I click into value betting strategy here, we can see the latest performance. If I click here, we'll see the latest performance. This is run today. Uh, so it goes back to almost the beginning of the season. We don't run for the first six weeks that we can have enough data to make our predictions. But as you can see, over the last few months, it's done very well. The model is up 90%, which is exceptional. And we definitely do not promise these returns by any means. This is only a three month sample size. Sports gambling is very risky. It can go up very quickly and come down very quickly as well. Uh, Steph worked on a very good backtesting engine and you can see the backtest performance of each of our strategies as well. So you can see here for our value betting strategy, we have our backtest performance for a $1,000 bankroll and that ended up performing at 50%, which of course is very good but we didn't put that into practice. These are just theoretical numbers. In the future, we're looking at covering more leagues. We're not just covering the European leagues of football, more sports. We've been talking about esports and tennis and NFL. Let us know in the comments below what sports you'd like to see us cover. And we want to do more content, more content about gambling to educate more people about gambling and make it more of a data-driven community. More content about the sort of analysis we're running. We've recently been looking at how big teams, when they play each other, it's lower scoring when the worst teams playing each other is slightly higher scoring and you know we want to cover that and do the data behind those pieces as well so lots more to come from systematic sports we're really excited about it and yeah thanks for watching we'll see you next time